Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Saturday's edition of Live in the Boutique. Uh, we are happy to have you join us. If you are new to Natik, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, we go live on Facebook at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And I'm excited. We've got a beautiful new yarn to show you. And uh, we have a brand new uh, prize for the semi-monthly grand prize drawing, a beautiful skein for our daily prize. So we're excited to have you join us. And um, I don't know, I rolled into the boutique a little bit late today because as you guys know, yesterday was Karen's birthday and Karen is, Karen and all my staff are a fan of chocolate chip cookies. So- Your chocolate chip cookies I got specifically. I seven o'clock this morning to make cookie dough. And then I baked a batch and they were a little too crisp. So I saved them because I know they'll still eat them and baked another batch to my standards. <laughs> and uh, Anna, how were the cookies? They're amazing. I grabbed what I'm guessing you consider a too crispy one. It's, and it's more of a crisp, crispy cookie. I, I like the crispy uh, mm -hmm. around the edges and then the soft in the middle. So that was like a perfect cookie. Did you grab from the bottom or the top? I grabbed from the side because I just lifted the foil just enough to grab a cookie. I know. I wonder if it was. It was like a middle-ish layer, yeah. I think. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows what it was? But uh, I did have a couple bites. This time, I did different chocolates. I did a uh, Ginger Elizabeth's Bittersweet Chocolate from, like, the candy store, the French chocolate store. I did um, some milk, no, no milk chocolate, some minis and white chocolate. I was like, yeah, let's just, you guys are good. Like, you don't really care. Yeah, we'll take the experimentation. Yes. My kids would be like, oh, did you have to put white chocolate in it? Or why are there minis? Melanie says the crispiest to her. Melanie, you got your own cookies to bake crispy. Do it more than 15 minutes. I think I did mine, how they got crispy is I put it on convection, which I'm not a fan no. of convection ovens for baking. I don't think they bake the same way, um, but uh, so good. And Melanie is hot tub floaty. Oh mm -hmm. my God, I was in the hot tub last night. I loved it. I haven't been in for a week because I got a rash on my legs, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I missed it. I could float, Melanie, I'm curious. You guys who have uh, hot tubs, how long could you float in? And I mean float, I don't use, I call it an outdoor soaking tub. I don't use the jets at all. I'm an hour max. I start to feel like a prune. At what temperature though? 100. Okay. I do 98 and I could go a couple hours. Easy a couple hours. You, you reach the prune stage and then you get past it. And then it's not so bad. Yeah, no, I reach the prune stage and I'm out. I'm not, I'm not going to try to get past the prune stage. When I start feeling like a, I'm shrinking, I'm like, nope, got to get out. My sister goes in a couple, two to three hours every night. She just, she watches TV. She does all that. Depends how long I fall asleep for it. Yeah, you definitely could. Bev, we're so sorry you're very cold here. We're having spring days. It may be up to 70 today. That's I don't a believe so. It's a little crisp this morning, but they're saying could be 70. Yep. My watch currently says expected high 69. No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. Stop it. 69? Yeah. yeah. But then I do believe it's supposed to start raining again tomorrow through Wednesday. You know, I'm packing for my trip. It's really you know, hard what to weather pack. are you supposed to well, pack for? That's the thing. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, there might be a chance of rain and high 50s, 60s, right? Which sounds great. So I'm I'm in this dilemma of what jacket to bring. So I bought three jackets, two on Amazon, because honestly, they're so cheap, it doesn't matter. One is a brown faux fur that's super cute, stylish. It's something I'd wear in my normal day. Not as fluffy as my leopard one, but it doesn't have a closure. So if it's cold, that's a problem. Yeah. Is it as soft as your leopard one? Because that's all that matters. That thing is like a bathrobe. That thing is like, excuse me while I pet you. 
Then I got a white plaid, like white and gray plaid jacket with little pockets. It's more fitted, it looks good. And then I have another one coming. I think it's a Michael Kors. This was at Nordstrom's Rack, so just to let you guys know, I am a bargain shopper. Everything's on clearance right now. Black jacket, a little light down, and then like a fur trim. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna buy, what I'm gonna bring, because I'm only doing a small carry-on. I did buy- You're um, gone for like a week and a half. I'm going for 10 days, yeah. Where are you, how are you gonna have enough clothes? I'm gonna take pictures to show you guys that you can actually pack in a carry-on. I did buy, this is the first time I've done it, I brought, um, I have some compressionable packing cubes, which the jacket would be fantastic in. But here's the trick that I learned from traveling uh, internationally with a carry-on, a little carry-on, you guys, not, in the US, you could have a 21 and a 23. In Europe, it's a 21, and because I'm taking the train, I need to make sure my carry-on is, excuse me, small you wear your boots. So you have to bring a pair of boots and a pair of white tennis shoes. That's what I would wear in Europe, right? Um, so you wear your boots, you wear your jacket on the plane, and then you just stuff it up in the top. So you put your suitcase up there, your jacket, and then you tuck the other stuff. Because most people are not flying with a carry-on, they're checking. So they're just bringing their little bag to put on. Top. Yeah, like they've got their purse basically. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Karen Wills, I don't roll my clothes because I'm going to tell you uh, there's a different method that works better and then your clothes aren't all wrinkled. It's You basically lay... Oh, see, I Is it you like the so origami many, thing where you kind of so stack lessons. and fold? So here's your suitcase. And the first thing you do is here's the waistband of your pants. You lay them this way. And the next pair you lay this way. And if they cover the whole one, that's fine. You layer them this way. Then you layer a shirt. The collar is here. The sleeves are here. And the next shirt goes here. So you lay everything out and then you just fold them over. I yeah, it is the or I call it that the origami trick. Yeah, it works amazing. My bags are normally heavier. I can pack so small my bags are heavier. Um, Pam, I got compression bags because that's a little bit easier because if you don't have a vacuum where you're going, your SOL is, because it's not yeah, going Yeah, you're leaving there. your clothes behind it's at that coming point. It's back. It's, I have to leave enough room for butter, you guys. Butter and maybe some cheese. I figured you're checking a bag on the way and home so to get all the butter. butter. And gummies, because Germany has my licorice vampire gummies. Remember, we used to give those away. Uh, we can't get them right now, so I want to buy those. I don't know. Whatever else. Three years ago, was it three years ago? Three years ago was COVID? 20, March 2020. Three years ago, I was in Paris when this happened, when the world shut down and <laughs> I must have thought there was gonna be an apocalypse. My carry-on is totally full of food, not one stitch of clothing. And I always bring a fold out duffel bag because I have been known to buy suitcases every time I, sh I travel. So now I bring a carry out. That was my clothes. And I was like, if my clothes get lost, it's fine. I have cookies to last the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you're, cookies you have cookies and butter. and butter. You'll survive. Yeah. So that's, that's what I've been doing right now. Just trying to get a heads up on it so that I don't last minute packing. I overpack. So we'll see how it all goes. I'll send pictures if you guys want to see. So let's talk about our grand prize. I think it's fantastic. Uh, our semi-monthly grand prize, we have the Noro Heart Scarf Kit. This was generously donated by Knitting Fever. We do have the pattern available on, I'm um, sorry, the kit is available on our website. And if you've always wanted to do one of the heart blankets, but you didn't want to commit to the blanket, this is the way to go. The only thing that I would say is garter stitch more of your edges so it's a little less rolly. I felt like it's a little rolly. And they may have changed that. But really cute. This is called Intarsia because you have a picture in the middle of your work. And then you have this beautiful striped yarn. And I can talk about the colors. It is super fun to do. 
So in this kit, you have your background color of these really pretty kind of autumn-y colors of emerald green and spruce and a rust orange, charcoal, kind of more of a chartreuse green, and there's some jade in the middle. And then for your heart color, you have this really pretty kind of more springy color with the orchid and the sunshine yellow, the melon, a soft sage green, an avocado, and a lime green. So you've got the bright springy against the darker autumny colors so that your hearts stand out no matter what. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Rich, if you are on, Melanie would like to see your heart blanket. Put a post on the collective. It is beautiful. Melanie did, uh, sorry, Elizabeth did the heart blanket. Who else did it? Because I think we gave it back to her, didn't we? Yeah, I get mixed up because we also had the star blanket. So I can't remember who made hearts and who made stars. Stars is ours. Hearts is Elizabeth. And then um, well, someone else made stars. Well, yeah, I mean, we I know, have one I think from Gail, I think Gail F oh, made yeah. a star Wait. one. I want to say Denise M made a Cindy Pert. heart. She did one for her husband, the star, because he is a retired CHP officer. The garbage men are on strike in Paris. Not a problem. Oh. I won't provide my, I want too much garbage. And it could be no worse than the metro in the summertime. I don't even want to. I don't even want to know. Who wears deodorant? I'm I don't even want to know. Because I've been on a Greyhound bus before, where literally I took my gum wrapper and wrapped it around my nose. Because you can't, oh, you, can't you can't open the windows. Nope. You're trapped. You are trapped with the fumes. So yes, I am familiar with some stinkiness. All right. So how do they get entered into the drawing for this amazing prize? Okay. So from the 16th through the end of March, you are going to get one entry for every purchase made. It can be in person in the boutique. It can be online at netikyarns.com and it can even be over the phone with us. Um, and it is cumulative, so if you purchase three times, you get three entries. If you purchase ten times, you get ten entries. And then on Saturday, April 1st, not a joke, we will draw to see who the lucky winner is. <laughs> you have everything on April 1st. You have to give a caveat of, no, I'm not that. kidding. We're not kidding. My friend's baby shower is on the 1st. I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> Uh, Melody, I for sure am packing a candle. I have learned that lesson the hard way. You know what you could do? You just bring a candle. You just pack it in your mm -hmm. bag. I normally do a cross bodies, but I'm looking for a bigger one because I want to bring my knitting because my other cross body is so small. So if anyone has recommendations for a medium size, not heavy security cross body that has wires in your straps and the sides, let me know. Hmm. And yes, there's a thing, because then no one can cut it to take it off you. The things you learn from traveling. Hmm. All right. Here we are. Um, our daily prize. We have this beautiful skein of fingering weight yarn. It is a 70% baby alpaca, 30% silk. Um, it's beautiful. This is a hand dyed yarn that one of my friends donated for our giveaways. What are some options that they could do for it? I was trying to think. Oh, I mean, of course there's the obvious one of Merino Cloud, which is what we originally designed it out of, but. I feel like our back 40 would be beautiful. Yeah, so you could and do, it's, uh, it's even nicer. you know what else would be nice? The cash silk light. Ooh, that would be a good one. Because it'd be all light and floaty like this sample right here. Mm-hmm. I'm really liking the cash silk light, though. Wear a little cami underneath it and bada-bing, bada-boom. You know what's 
today's the first day that besides I have my one hour class, I don't have back to back to back to back to back classes like yesterday, six hours of uh, education yesterday, which I love. But we just wanted I to make sure you could get some sleep. Free time, not that I don't have things to do. It makes me want to cast on and right. machine knit a t-shirt out of it or something. Do you know what I mean? Like you get into this thing like, I could whip this out right now. Two hours I could have a t-shirt. So we'll see if I get a bug to do it or if I will behave myself and not do it. I, it's going to go either way because I have a lot of back end stuff that I need to do. But yeah, we had uh, two people do a private lesson yesterday. That was super fun in machine knitting. They were just so cute and they were so tickled pink. One is not a hand knitter, which if you guys didn't know that, you don't even know how, know how you don't need to know how to knit to do the machine knitting. She was just so excited about herself. Yeah, because she can crochet closed her ends. She, she doesn't have to and knit. I'm going to teach her the basics. Like, I'll teach her how to bind off, right? That'll be easy to do. She's done some knitting, but uh, it's not her favorite. But she wants to be able to knit. She said she hand knit something, and she's in a group. And she said it took her weeks to knit this little piece. And she sewed it up, stuffed it with catnip and because it, it was green and called it the green the hungry caterpillar and it was a cat toy and that was it that was the uh, gist of her stuff so I thought that was fun all right so uh glacier or glossier if you want to say it in the French pronoun pronunciation is a um this was done actually for an inspirations uh, you know what, this, I always think, now here's a thought. I know this is total segue. Do we re-yarn our inspirations when the inspirations aren't available anymore? I don't know. Inquiring we should mind. ask Lynn. About that. But do you still know what I'm saying? <laughs> because people want this exact one. We can't get it anymore. It's like four years old. Wait, like, is it torture for you guys to see this pretty picture and then find out that that color no longer exists? even though there are lots of other pretty colors available. That's the problem, not a bad problem, but with the designing for inspirations is once the color is gone, it's hard to, you know, we can't. Yeah, and some of them are so unique that it's like, yeah, nothing else is gonna look remotely I mean, close. Sometimes we can get new colors if I work a favor. It's like Northern Lights. Northern Lights is yes, one that we have. Yes, we have Northern Lights. Got we have received many, many times, and that one we brought back in all the color, in most of the bases. It's beautiful. We even added it to Silky Twist. We did, because mm -hmm. why not? Everyone who's knit with Silky Twist, they're just in love with it. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's this. definitely mixed. Thank you, you guys. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, we got to re-knit it, do new photography. Uh, it would look totally different in something not like this. Like a solid? Mm -hmm. A solid, a seven series, less choppy choppy. Less variated. Yeah. I mean, oh wait, Melanie said in Silky Twist, OMG, you need to show her. Okay, for a second, I was scared that it was sold out because I couldn't see it. But Melanie, it's calling to you. And wait till the what are we wearing portion of the video because um, Karen might have just finished something beautiful out of this color that really? I think is a one skeiner. Ooh, it's gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite inspirations and we've gotten it a couple times. Uh, Roxanne, we would. That just means re knitting it, though, in new photography. So, um, it's just because when people are looking this up, we can't, most people want the yarn. But yeah, I put a note on it. We will think about it. Maybe we just do it with the most sold patterns or the least sold patterns. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Good idea. All right.
how you get entered in the daily prize. You guys are doing a fantastic job so far. We've got uh, 67 comments so far. The easiest way and the quickest way, comment. You get five entries for every comment when you react to the video and that is all throughout. Every time you hit the reaction button, you're gonna get one entry for every reaction five entries for every comment, and the really quick way of doing it, you share now, share to your stories, you do have to pop right in. You're funny, Melanie. That works, Melanie. That's five entries for another comment. You're gonna get 11 entries for sharing. You guys know our goal is to help other people find an LYS because there are not LYSs everywhere. And I feel like we do a pretty decent job of representing as an LYS, even if you aren't local. So it's something we take a lot of pride in. It's making everyone feel like they're part of our extended family. So if you know anyone who's looking for uh, another yarn dealer, send them our way. Basically everyone in Boise, Idaho. Oh my gosh, I know. I don't understand how Boise, Idaho can't end up right. with like it's multiple yarn tiny. stores that stores i think they're gone yeah they posted a couple days ago that they sold their last fixture uh, and they had all these really cool custom made fixtures oh yeah alexandra was there and did a trunk show right before they closed so i'd love that for her all right so let's see based off of yo holy mole just one second what are you going to show them while i do some magic. Some zhuzhing? Yeah. Um, you need a zhuzh. I know. Thoughts, thoughts. Sorry, I have to fix this Hold on. thing. I'll be right back. I'll show them some of the other beautiful colors that you may not know that we have added to the new favorite silky twist. Uh, we added the fire and ice colorway in that gorgeous seven series of like the sunset colors with a little bit of lavender. Um, we got more of the Sierra Bloom color because that was a hit in the minty greens and the orange and the plum. We restocked, because it's always a winner, the Seven Natique colorway. Nancy, which one looks like the sunset last night? The Sierra Bloom or the Fire and Ice? Were you at the beach? Plus, we do have, like we were saying, we have lots of the, we try to keep the Inspirations Club colors in stock if they're popular. So like we have all the different bases in the Fire and Ice. Loving this cashmere ombre skein right here. All right, I worked magic. All right, I have to stop playing in the yarn wall. Oh my gosh, I know, you know what we never talked about? That's a good thing. All the spots that we ordered. Yeah, like the Greek Isles one. Greek Isles, Electric Slide, um, Seven Natique, Azores, Paris, Canal Dreams. Everything. Hmm. All right. We have another video we can talk about that. All spots right, and so dots. I worked my magic and got it to work. And let me tell you, it did not like it. It was pulling <laughs> comments from December 10th. How did that even get uh, in there? I don't know. But here we go. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, Jan Loeffler. So, Jan is not local. So, Jan, the next time you place an order at natiqueyarns.com, just put in the notes that you have your prize, and we will put it in your pretty pink package and send it on its merry way. Um, and that goes for anybody who's not local. If you've won recently or win in the future, you just have to let us know when you order that you have a prize. And that way we grab it out of the cabinet and pack it up with your order. 
If you're local and you've won recently or win in the future, you just stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and say, I have a prize here. Can I pick it up, please? And we'll hand it right over. It always cracks me up because Eileen, when she wins, she always comes in and she like quotes me exactly on how to collect the prize. You guys don't have to quote me exactly. She got her dog in. He's so cute. So cute. That was a rescue. He was so excited to socialize, too. Like, as soon as you made eye contact with him, that little tail was just vibrating. Like, oh, you're gonna, you're here for me. Oh, good. You're here for me. Did we go through our second one, or maybe it fell behind? I only, I only knew of one roll, so I have no idea. Order them because I actually love using these instead. Oh. I'm like, Karen probably knows. This was Roxanne's idea. Remember, what the last one had holes in yeah. it. Yeah. Really let the yarn breathe. Yeah. I got no plums against that. All right. Who? Oh, gosh. That center one has something catching, and I cannot figure out what. I have looked. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the wheel. Maybe it just needs some lube in the truck. Yeah, like some, some WD-40 or, or something. something. Yeah. All right. We are so excited. You guys did it. We haven't even advertised this yet, but we have a truck show that we're going to showcase today with some amazing yarn. This is one... We had remix. I think we've had remix light. This is by Barocco. It is a mid range yarn, high quality, but not crazy expensive. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is show you a sweater out of it, and then we're going to talk about it. So, this is by Barocco. This is super cute. It is uh, in pieces which I love. It's gonna give you a little bit more structure to this. So uh, just to let you know a little bit about Remix by Barocco, it is a 100% recycled fibers. It knits up at a worsted weight, an Aran, so 17 stitches, which I love. 216 yards per skein, which means you don't need that many to knit yourself something. 30% nylon, 27% cotton, 24% acrylic, 10% silk, 9% linen. Here's what I love. Machine wash in cold water on delicate cycle. So you guys know we love something you can throw in the washing machine and you lay flat to dry. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put mine in my dryer for a few minutes on low heat to kind of... Um, make sure you get a little bit out of the wetness out of it. And when I say we have a complete rainbow palette, we weren't, uh, I think, was this the one I let you pick out the colors? I don't remember. Sometimes Maybe. I'm like, there's too many colors and I can pick them out. So we're going to talk about just some of the colors and we'll uh, go to the next one. You guys are welcome to try them on. This is, a uh, pattern is Raffic, R-A-F. I K and I love how they do this six seven eight eight nine ten that's how many skeins you need depending on which one you're doing uh, needle sizes six to eight and here we are and the reason why it takes more yarn you guys can see big collar it's really cables pretty. cables you do want to do I think things in pieces because with it being a uh, cotton stuff it's a little bit heavier all right. So this first color is 3998, which is kind of like a cherry red. It's got a little bit of like that more orange red leaning versus a blue red. And you can see because of the different fibers, it's got a little bit of a tweed effect with the highlights of the tan in there and a little white. So it gives it a little bit of depth of color just in the mixture of fibers. 
it's a little surprising that this says it takes so much because look at here, uh, Susan found the Felix Pullover by Amy Christoffers, which I think is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of lace weight here on the shoulder. This is a 39 and they only use three skeins hmm. because it is Aaron weight. This must be a lot looser gauge than mm -hmm. this one. Let's see what they said. And she knit, oh, 14. Oh, yeah, 14. It's knitted like a bulky gauge. Yeah, but I love that. And it works. Fast, fast. Mm -hmm. How cute is that? And three or more skeins. I love that. Planning to use, make the smallest size, which provides four to five inches of ease. Love it. I don't know what LTGT means. Because I'd have thought it meant long tail cast on, but I don't know what, why it would then also say GT. Hmm. Garter. Long tail garter cast on? Who knows? 90 inch tail and number I seven. I like, people... she said how long her tail was for her cast on. Yeah. I love how she did a ton of notes. Look at this. First skein took me to one and three quarters inches of the bodies. Attached the second skein. It weighed 101 grams. No chance of yarn. She must have been right at. Done with body one mm -hmm. gram to spare. Sleeve 101 grams. I just think this is fantastic. I love notes like that. Eight grams less than three skeins each weighing 101. No yarn knots, no yarn barf, but love it so that's a one project all right i think we're just going to do rainbow order because it's so beautiful here we are color option number two which is 3961 which is this really pretty rose pink and you can see the tweed flex there's a little bit of red and a little bit of the white to give it that depth of color Maybe we can do some type of little video with you trying these on because they're uh, they're all on the small all size. All but one of them because one of them looks more like it should be like a slightly oversized top for Everly. Oh, even better. I'm like, ooh, I think if I put this on, it would be fitted, and I don't think it's a fitted style top. I think uh -huh. it's supposed to be loose and flowy. All right, so this one is Renee. And it's going to use anywhere from 5 to 10 skeins. This is a 40 inch. I appreciate that they put the needle sizes too. So mm -hmm. you're not like, wait, I wonder what needles I need for this. I mean, you still need to swatch people. Yeah. Do not just knit a sweater on the needle sizes the pattern calls for. Thank you everyone for sharing. That is very, we really appreciate that. I like the lace detail on this one. It's like a little, almost cathedral arch, little leaf design in the middle with the columns of lace on either side okay. and then a cable. And that the cable blends in. They didn't do a pearl to make it stand out. It's really attractive. Yeah, it kind of gives just like a little scalloped border instead of a stark line. 1296 to 2160. Oh yeah, because that one was knitted. The first sweater we showed was knitted mm -hmm. 20 stitches and four inches mm -hmm. versus 14 like the Felix yeah. was. See, gauge matters, you guys. Gauge that's matters. a huge yarn difference. Look at this beautiful one. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Mountain range. How cute is that? The love. I mean, that's Fair Isle. It looks like you would be doing intarsia, but you're not. You could carry that one along. It'd be a lot easier to do a carry. I think great uh, sweater for someone who's outdoors. And Even... that's a great like unisex design. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily girly or masculine. It's mountains. Yeah. Everybody likes mountains. Oh, she did do uh, floats. So it is Fair Isle. You definitely want to catch your floats. I can tell you that. Yep. And here's another fun one. This is Garter oh, that's and pretty. More. This is two skeins of one color strawberry, one skein of another color. All 
I was like, hmm, is that it? All right, here we are moving. I love this color. You guys know I'm a huge fan of burnt orange. It looks good on so many complexions. Which that is 3997. You can see it has little highlights of almost like a coral and then a soft white for the tweed. So I like that they do the tweeds coordinating and not crazy. Like there's no rainbow tweed. Ooh, this sweater is pretty. All right, here we are. This is route one. This is uses between four and seven skeins. I love the V-neck and I love how this cable, I think great design, then comes to do that. Yeah, like that's my favorite part is that the cable blends into mm -hmm. the V-neck border. You could even just do the cable and not do any of the other stuff if you didn't want so much work. It would still be really pretty. I do like... I like the me little mesh lace on either side that they did it symmetric. So you can see this side mm -hmm. leans to the left, this side leans to the right. The only pitfall, you gotta wear a cami underneath it because this shows your skin. True. But I still think it's really pretty. But that's okay. Camis are, you know, inexpensive. Mm-hmm. I like the little three-quarter sleeve and it does have kind of a bloused sleeve to it which is a really quick decrease, which does that. So instead of normally, I mean, Anna and I always do this, we decrease slowly, so it's more tapered. This is, ooh, they I increased. they increased first. Yeah. They increased and then did a quick decrease. You guys can see that right here. So it kind of like balloons it out a little bit. We'll get Anna to try these on. You can wear them? Well, yeah, nothing and I'm wearing place. a good, um, like, just plain t-shirt so we can pop them over. We're going to do a... I'm not uh, wearing a cami. <laughs> but I've got a t-shirt that fine. should, like, the v-neck might show, but it'll we be fine. We can do some type of a little reel or something. I already got something in my head. I'm scared. No, no, it'll be fun. Because <laughs> I have to be the model. Can. That's right. They're not my size, otherwise I would. Okay, I thought this one very pretty it's like a peach almost and this Apricot. one is 3969 it is in that like peach melon kind of family with little like dark specks of rust and charcoal and then light specks of cream and like almost like a lemon yellow that really like warms up the color and gives it that corally look Friendly. He's probably like, thank God it's not raining. Yeah. Poor I know. Oh, the, when we've had like our borderline oh. monsoon days, I'm like, oh, can we please give the delivery people a day off? We'll I all be fine without our packages for one day. I always joke. I bet you're loving your job today. Okay, I love. Yeah, this. the FedEx guy didn't think I was funny when I said that. He didn't? No, he gave me a look like, Sound really, la really, lady. Don't be sourpuss. I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. That's why I'm making a joke out of it. Because I know it's rough. 3968 is this soft, like, khaki green with kind of olive gold flecks and tan. Oh, so you're getting a one. really nice neutral. Yeah, that's the one that I'm like, that would be a dress on Everly. Like an oversized dress. It could fit you. It'll just be fitted. It'll be sausagey. Maybe. May, yeah, maybe here. And that ne that color, neckline though. is already giving me claustrophobia of how small it is. I'm like, it's going to be touching my neck. <laughs> maybe you won't try this one. That one, yeah. All I right. held it up and went, okay, this is a small, small. This is Hermione. It takes between two and three skeins. They say it's a size eight. I'm like, you mean a kid's eight, right? Oh, it could be. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a kid's sweater. Nancy, enjoy your haircut. Because this feels like one we might not be able to get me back out of if I put it on. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about, remember, you could fit into, was it a IKEA bag? 
Yeah, so, I mean, the bags are ginormous. Are I could probably public. still do that. I was like, can you zip it up? You guys know I'm like... They totally could. They didn't zip it all the way be, to be nice, but they yeah. totally could zip me into the Ikea bag. Hello, Joyce. Joyce was the winner yesterday. All right, let me kick but some those of Those Ikea bags, you guys know, are ginormous. The zipper ones, they're basically a body bag. If you are looking to oh, do that's cute. a kid sweater, this is Sautel. Uh, really fun. This would be cute for your favorite little person. Lots of garter stitch. I like that the sleeves are stuck in it. I want to change the cuffs to ribbing, though. Yeah, I don't like that. We're just particular. I mean, we've knit so many sweaters, we know what we like. Okay, I do love, look at it. took her more than a year to knit this. That is some truth right there. The Yes, I worked on 17 other things between because yeah. I got distracted, and I'm sorry. I hope it still fits. Really pretty. We have so many more colors, you guys. You're not going to believe this. It's crazy town colors. Oh, yeah. Maria said that would make a cute Easter dress. Mm-hmm. I love this one. The deep emerald green is color 3989 with flecks of teal and tan and cream. Amy Christophers has some really cute patterns. So this is one, it's a side to side. I love this at the bottom. Let me show you it made out of, here it is, out of Remix. That's attractive. I like that little border. Mm -hmm. For people who are more uh, into the blues, this is kind of more of a turquoise, color 3977. I like they made this one a little bit tropical with the way they did the flex because there's like a red and a pink and a soft mint. So it has just a subtle pop of color to your turquoise. And yet there's more. Color number 84. That's pretty which is more of like a deep teal. And then it has flecks of turquoise and like a powder blue and silver. If you're looking to do a really fun wrap, we have oh. Symphony Geometric Shawl. And here is some photos of it. And this is using two of the blue, one of the light gray, one of the burgundy, so a two, one, one. I like, it's got like a log cabin construction. It does. Here's another one, Auden. Okay, I like this, 17 stitches. I think it would, it'll do better on a little bit less dense. It depends on what you're looking for. I like a lighter knit. I can see a lot of you guys wearing this. And you don't have to make it so long. You just shorten it. You can see it's horseshoe lace, which I'm in love with. I think it's one of my favorites. It's a version of horseshoe lace. Yeah, because it looks like it's got something in the middle of each horseshoe. Like there's a dividing lace. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. So here's like the there's horseshoe, like leaves. there's something else right there, this thin, thin something. It's like horseshoes and leaves. I love it, both charted and written instructions. This one has between four and nine balls, and here's the thing, I wouldn't make it that long. You could probably kick one skein loose purely on the length, because look at the length for my size, one, two, three, 26. I like 24 inches I could kick loose. Okay, my gosh, we're going slow. Here we go. And we're not even going slow. We just have a lot of colors. You guys, we still have six more to go. Uh, I'm in love with this one. Here we Hello, bedtime. Yeah, like cobalt blue, right? which is number 3982 with flecks of like charcoal, corn flour, and silver. So it's all about the blue. And for the crocheters out there, we have a gorgeous, I'm gonna walk around. 
gorgeous blanket. I see this as an all season blanket. Let me. And it is done in panels. Who doesn't want panels? I love panels because it's not so much on your lap and I love the connection. And then they finish off the edges. Uh, this is some fun short rows. This ripply stitch method would be a really fun way to do one of those temperature blankets. Because it'd like it. get a lot less of that stage where you're like, whose bright idea was this anyways? Right, because it's the same. Hmm. And you could basically, you know, divide up the year, you know, the first four months, then the second four months, then the third four months my in your three whole, panels. My theory is you do it from three different places that you love, right? So one, your hometown, one where you currently live, and one if the world was your oyster, where would you live? Oh, that's a fun way to do it, mm -hmm. too. Because then you'd get, they're similar colors. I love the little pop of red. I don't know if I did where I grew up versus here, they would not be similar colors no. at all. No. I'd have one panel all blues, the other right. panel all red, orange, yellow. The other thing that you can do if you're getting... Um, the same colors is one day do the high, one day do the low for the day, and then you'll get some variety. So that is, let's see what the name of this one is. Oh my gosh. I think it might be Monet's Ocean Blanket because Susan just linked it. It is Monet's Ocean Blanket. 3333, three, 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 so 12, 13 skeins. I don't think that's bad on a size. Not for a blanket. And I love that hook size because oh, I hate it when they're like, worsted weight yarn on a G. I'm yeah. like, are you trying to kill me? No, nope, thank you. I'll have arthritis by the end of that project. Uh, I love that. We got a little love note. From yeah, from the previous store. The previous store. It says, hello, Natik. Greetings from Southwest Virginia. I uh, hope that terrible storm missed you. No, we were it right did not. in it. But thank you, Ellie. I love that. Yeah, I was like, thank you. I saw, read the note and was like, thank you for wishing that on us, but it so didn't work. Cute. I love that. <laughs> All right. For our purple people, don't think we are ignoring you. I love this one. 3973. This is like a plum violet with specks of lilac, magenta, indigo, and a little off-white for good measure. Okay, look at this cutie. Thinly, I'd love to do this for Everly oh, with like, like purple and then some of the lighter colors. It's like I'll a sporty wallaby for her. You mean to annoy her? <laughs> to annoy her. We could do okay. Look, what because three she's a teenager. She is. Some purple. Is there like a? What do we have for gray? No gray. Oh, Just, this one. This is like a gray brown. No. No. I almost like something like that instead. Yeah, the purple and green. Yeah, because I, lo I love purple and green together. Like purple and green and tan maybe for your light color? Because it's three colors? No, th these two. Oh, purple, and blue, and green. Okay. I know that they're not. there's not a lighter version, uh, but maybe we'll need to add a light gray to it too. Don't worry, we have more choices than this. Hold on here. This one, like here, here's our neutral selection. I love this oatmeal one, color number 3903. Which the oatmeal has little flecks of caramel and cream, keeping it all nice and neutral. Uh, that kid sweater Finley is size two through 10. Okay, made in pieces and seamed. It's a perfect practice project for a beginner uh what beginner wants to seem i want to know that yeah i'm like okay it, this is a european this is a european beginner right. even people who know how to knit they don't want to seem because you know they learn to knit when they're three right. so this is cute remy oh i like that I little detail definitely do this i think they did two colors but you could get away with one you could and i like that it's a little smaller in here I thought, is there a dart? It's not. It's just bust. Uh, and I would do mine a little bit less ease. 
there's definitely some generous ease on that one. I do like that it's on a six and an eight. Well, 17 stitches, so you of course would do gauge. Uh, one of the things that we wanna say with this yarn is you wanna make sure that you do a nice size gauge. Most people aren't aware that cotton blends tend to be a little bit heavier and can have some uh, length grow. Yeah, so like you know how we normally tell you like cast on twice the gauge number, cast on more like three to four times the gauge number, you will not regret it because you will get a more accurate gauge because there will be weight to the swatch. What's a better way of saying it? Length grow, length stretch. It relaxes oh. a lot. Thank you. In length. It's just because of the weight. I love this one. It's kind of a brownie gray color number uh, 3933. And it has really subtle tweeds of like a chocolate and a white and a charcoal. Again, I appreciate that they kind of kept the tweeds neutral and didn't go crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, rainbow tweed has its place. And last but not least, I really like this soft black like, charcoal it's like gray. Charcoal, soft black, whatever you want to call it, with highlights of white and silver and then a darker almost black charcoal to give it that depth in the tweed and here is one more blanket that and here's i love that's pretty it's weird eight though i don't know how you'd get 15. this is why you swatch people because how did on one pattern an eight got you 20. maybe because it's all seed stitch so you maybe. knit. i know i knit a lot looser on seed stitch but don't, don't be afraid of swat, doing a little swatch. Oh. Boys and their toys. No, seriously. They got to make it loud. We have, you know, you guys know we have the cutest little barber shop. There's a lot of boys in there that must spend three quarters of their budget on their cars. I have a feeling like four to six of them live in an apartment a, an apartment like a two-bedroom <laughs> apartment right. two of them probably sleep in the living room you know and that well, way they have money to soup up their cars fancy cars I'm, i kind of want to go over there and be like how much do you guys charge for a haircut because right. how in the world are they affording those cars off of a barber's budget when <laughs> shane was in the military he said there were boys that lived and i say boys they would lived on base and they spent 90, and they lived on base, ate at the uh, cafeteria. Yeah. Right? And they spent their entire paycheck, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on their car. And they just, every month, would do something else. I'm sure my son spent thousands of dollars, because he is a boy who likes his toys. Except yes, for Mr. Mr. Scuba on his truck. Right. Well, he, he does actually play with it, yeah. unlike a lot of the boys who just add all the stuff to their truck and then drive it down Main Street. Shelly, exactly. They live in mom's basement. They have to. I don't think very many boys would live in an apartment with six of them because they want to bring girls over. It Maybe it's more acceptable to live in mom's basement and go through, like, pretend like you're renting, renting the space until your mom's like... Hey, Johnny, can you bring up your laundry? What's the California <laughs> equivalent of mom's basement? Because we don't have a lot of basements. Uh, craft room. <laughs> the attic. Mom gave up her craft mom room. Mom gave up the attic to the kids. Right. We have lots of fun classes coming, you guys, in the next few weeks. Uh, we'll go over that next week because I've got to head to class. Anna's got break but i just want to say as always thank you so much for joining us we always appreciate that 30 plus people every day take an hour out of their day to watch us live and it just makes us happy it makes all the hard work worth it yep and so we love it uh if you have a chance to come into the boutique we can't really show you everything uh karen on her birthday came and hung out and sprucified springified the store super cute we showed you the new window but l there's little bits everywhere of uh i mean there's a whole new of springification of yep 
Don't forget, you guys, LYS Day is the end of April. You are going to want to come see us, shop us. Anna just came up with, you know, we talked about something new and exciting. We're excited about that. We're knitting on samples already. Do you think, I mean, people wonder, other yarn stores are like, how do you do it? I'm like, yeah, the we need that yarn so we can do a sample. We have two samples already done for the end of April, which means we're on fire. No last minute Lucy's this year. <laughs> As you order one more thing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna talk about what we're wearing. I am wearing, I'm like, Let me see. I'm pretty sure it has the tag. It has a tag. This is the North Wind Cowl. This is done up. I'm going to tell you my favorite sport weight yarn besides Merino Cloud. Uh, it's delicious. This I am on the... fire. Thank you, girls. Amano Apu. Yes. Amano Apu. It is Royal Alpaca. We did double strand it. I think Karen knit this. And it has this gorgeous pattern that you can see each section is a little bit different. It is a little bit of a funnel. So here's what we like about that is it hangs nicely. So it's not all this extra. If it's all the same, sometimes it folds over funny. But look at how cute this looks. And that was without even trying. Mm -hmm. Anna is... You want the buttons on the front? All right, so I'll show you guys what Anna's wearing. This is the oldie but a goodie. Yeah. I thought she hasn't worn this since she knit it, but apparently it's been on Thursdays or when I'm not in town. I love this I one. Apparently, only wear it when Boss Lady's not here. It's so pretty. This is the four triangles shawl, and I just sewed on some buttons and poked it through the little drop stitch rows as my buttonholes to turn it into a convertible wrap. And what yarns did you use? This I see Merino Cloud. Merino Cloud and Silk Daydream? Dream. Dream. Which one's the sparkly? Dream. And I spy Beaded Silk and yep. Sequins. And Beaded Silk and Sequins. Did you sequins. use one skein of each? Yes. One Beaded, one Silk Dream, and one Merino Cloud. Can you, while I show the other girls, will you take it off so they can see, like, the whole... I'm not going to make you unbutton it. But then like you guys buttons. can see the pattern a little bit better on this one. It's got like 40 buttons. So I'm like, no, don't make me unbutton it. But you can see right here. It's kind of started. You, you literally do two halves in seam it. but it, So it starts here and goes out and then starts here and goes out. And you use beaded silk until you were done? Yep. Beaded silk till it ran out out here. And then the Silk Dream. And there is a shirt version. Yes. And Anna did that too. that too. In like a red orange color. It's gorgeous. I love seeing all the things you're wearing lately. And I do like putting the buttons just a little bit in front because mm -hmm. they're so pretty and I like seeing them. This was a vendor that we got who just kind of did a drive-by and you bought, I was like. I bought the whole strand. The whole two. Oh, it was a strand. Mm -hmm. Isn't it gorgeous? They're vintage. They were stranded like a bracelet almost in a ring and I bought the whole strand. The rest of them are on my dress that might actually fit again. I was going to say, we need to see that dress on you. It's the most it's beautiful dress. Yet, friend. It's missing half yeah. the top. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. Why are you, are you cold? It's cold back there. Oh, <laughs> my like Karen's like teeth chattering over here. This is written down. <laughs> something number five. Oh, it's on the yeah, sheet. <laughs> but it's just one skein of um, feverish five. Yes. Silky I twist. This is your new one. That another new one that you wrote down. Oh yeah. No, I just beautiful. Just, they show it where you put a button. Or you could just cowboy cowl it because it's easier. I don't know. I love shoes. You're not afraid of color, right? No, apparently not. Gold, purple, pink. Yeah. It's no. beautiful. Look how cute it is. One skein. I know. One it's skein, two nights. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? You could rock that at a Kings game and be the best dressed person there. I don't know. I think she is the best dressed. <laughs> she is. I'm like, uh, okay, throw on a dress, call it a day. What am I wearing? This one is black to the fuchsia. It is pink on the pattern page, but... That's the name? Yes. But, you know, 
Susan went blue. Maybe Skeins. Katza Pinka. Yes, I think. Yes. And is so, that yeah. a new shirt for you too? That's cute Not too. Not really. You just haven't seen it. You been shopping with your sister? This is a while ago. She's had this one. She's just only worn this, this on days out. when you're not here. <laughs> oh. But that's what we're wearing today. I gotta go. I got a class, like right now. All right. Chop, chop. Goodbye. Goodbye we'll <laughs> see you soon. Thanks for visiting us. Our boutique will be open 11 to 5 today. Remember, if you're ordering online, our packages go out within 24 hours, except for if you are ordering on Sunday or Monday. The post office already picked up the orders. UPS, I'll be dropping off later this afternoon. It's a good day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.